Hey everybody, we're back here today with Mon and his on Paragon. And today I have a Fang Owl deck to show you. So let's get to it. We got a guard token for some armor. Health and mana always these two and scout sword. If you feel like you're gonna try to gank more and go in, I would go guard sword. If you feel like you need to protect your own friends from ganking, I would go scout sword from the very beginning. The two optional ones of always. It's your choice. Now to the actual deck here. Uh, I built this with lifesteal, crit, damage, and attack speed, and I'll explain each one to you. So, to start out with our lifesteal always brand of the Iron Eater, since he is fear, and we just dropped, you know, three drops in here, and as always, I always try to equal everything to 12, because we have five of these which equal up to 60 points, and that would be all your 60 points, because you won't have none of these by late game. Anyways, back to the actual deck here again, and we got just regular three drops thrown in there, and, you know, it gives some crit chance in there too, so that's where some of the crit is going to be coming from, and then most of the life still from that too. The next thing we have is Impact Hammer, we put all crit in this, and this is where your major crit is going to come from, it gives some, the reason I chose this, because it also gives some power to you, so it gives crit chance, we just dropped all crit chance in that. And for our actual power, we chose this one, these because of it's a pin to be able to go through anybody that does have armor just in case, and you know, there's actually, you know, 12 power starting out there, so it's not bad, it fully upgraded, it adds more power, we just threw some major strikes in there, three of those of course, and then we got rest breaker, the same deal here, you know, it gives 6 power in the end, and you also know, so it fights off with 12, still a lot of power there, and some basic pin, and we just threw some more, you know, major strikes in there, and that would be your basic and ability, yeah, that one gives you ability pin, this gives you basic pin. And for the last but not least, attack speed. And what we got here is a six drop, car six drop card, but we end up putting three drops of twos, all equaling, uh, just equaling up to twelve. And what does this does? It gives an extra hundred percent of crit bonus uh, when fully upgraded. So if you actually get a crit chance happen, you got uh, that extra hundred percent bonus, which is actually really good. And we just dropped, you know, like I said, attack speed. And that's called Glass Harness there. And this is my basic build deck for Fang Mao. I know Crit is not as viable as before, but I still believe that it can still be put to good use when we It just can't be like it used to be when it was OP, where you got nothing but Crit, a little bit of damage, or vice versa, just that little bit of Crit and massive damage, and it was just monstrous. It's, it's not like that anymore, but I still believe it can be useful when used right. And I believe it's pretty in use here pretty well if you build the deck correctly. I would, would start out with first was card I would say is pick a damage card whatever which damage card then I'd basically I'd go for the attack speed to get that bonus in there right off the bat and then one of these for the crit chances. I'd probably go with that one first because it gives you that little slight chance and then you got the major chance there and then I'd go for you know whatever damage card you didn't pick for your last card and that's how I'd play that one out for him. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's. <laughs>